Hello, my beautiful fire signs. How are you? It is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This particular reading is for the week commencing on the 17th of August of 2020. This is going to be for the fire signs of Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Now, for those of you interested in getting a membership to my website, you can go to the link below. There you can also get a consultation with me and you can also get your natal chart for free. For those of you that wish to donate to my channel, the link is below as well. Also, please like, share, and subscribe. We want to get these good predictive uh, energies out to people. And when I say predictive energies, fire signs, and many of you already know this, but you gotta go through the spiel, the spiel every once in a while. So <clears throat> a lot of times, People say, this doesn't apply to me, doesn't apply to me. Does These are predictive energies. They're not here to um, verify what you're going through right now. Now, for some of you, it will be that way. You know, you will get that verification that, yes, this is what I'm going through. But these are predictive. Weeklies generally go out to about two to three weeks right around there because there are three decans. And you want to take into consideration if energies are moving through your first decan, they might getting they might be going into the third decan next. So just be aware that all of us have different decans. Some of us are going to get affected sooner, and some of us are going to get affected later. So try to reserve a little bit of that judgment if it doesn't apply to you until after the week is over, because these are predictive and you will see the energy. Okay. All right, so we're going to get right into it. We're going to do the elemental general reading first, and then I'm going to pull individual cards for the individual signs. All right, here we go, my beautiful fire signs. For those of you interested in subscribing to this channel, please click on that subscription button and that notification bell so you'll be immediately notified when I post my videos. Also, everyone want to let you know, uh, YouTube has been forcibly unsubscribing people from my website or from my, uh, not my website, from my YouTube channel. So if you did subscribe, then um, you need to go back in and resubscribe because people are being basically just kind of shoved right out. So um, something's going on with YouTube, I need to figure it out. But um, I, think, I think I know what's going on. It'll be an interesting deal uh, talking with them about it. So anyway, we're gonna get right into this. Another quick shuffle of fire signs, and then we're going to get started. Aries, Leo, Sag. Alrighty, go ahead and put your energy into the deck, fire signs. Thank you. Your first card, fire sign, is the Seven of Cups. Your third card is the Page of Wands. And your third card is the King of Swords. Very interesting. Let's see what's going on here. <clears throat> Fire sign, you're trying to make a decision possibly regarding a child that is an Aries, a Sag, or a Leo, or an Aquarius, a, a Libra, or a Gemini. And this might be relating to travel or needing to get to the truth of a situation. There might be a talk with the children regarding truth, regarding needing to be more truthful in situations as well. Um, I'm hearing somebody should not be getting their hopes up. I don't know exactly what that means for the fire signs out there, but someone shouldn't be getting their hopes up. There is some sort of truth that was revealed regarding some sort of passionate endeavor, passionate new beginning. Um, it could be related to travel or a feather in someone else's cap. There is a level of military energy here, fire sign. There is a level of attorney energy, uh, police energy. The swords cards are always about legal, law, police, military, surgeons as well. Might be something having to do with a surgeon here, uh, fire sign that's coming up. I'm hearing someone cannot believe their eyes. I am hearing that fire sign. Someone cannot believe their eyes. They cannot believe what's happened here. They're going to come in and they're going to say, let's set the record straight. This is what's happening. 
what a mess. Somebody, somebody's walking into their, their kids' room or something like that, and they're looking at the room like, what a mess. It looks like a tornado hit this place. So this could be something that you're dealing with um, a child right now, and you're having a discussion, you're having a talk with them, and you're telling them, hey, you're becoming a young adult. You better start acting like one. And we need to make sure that um, you, uh, you walk the talk and talk the talk, or I'm gonna start, uh, I'm gonna start pulling things away. I'm gonna start not giving you as much as I've given you in the past, maybe because you don't deserve it. Or you're not putting in the effort. You're not putting in as much effort as your older brother, as your older sister. They get their chores done, you don't. So I'm gonna give them the allowance and you are gonna get much less because you're not getting done what you should be getting done. That could be for some of you out there. But I am sensing legal uh, legal uh, news coming in. Fire sign, there's legal news coming in about a regulation, a law. There is legal news and it is clear, clear, clear. This is very interesting fire sign. A ruling has been given. A ruling has been placed regarding a situation. So fire sign, I almost feel as though you're getting news back regarding a ruling or you are reminiscing or looking back on a ruling that was not fair, that was ambiguous, that was confusing, where someone, someone used that to their advantage, fire sign. And I, I hope that this is coming across the right way for you. But what I don't know what I don't know is, is this ruling going to go into your, go in your favor? That's what I don't know. But maybe we'll get some energy with the individual signs coming up, but there's definitely a legal case, um, a regulation, a compliance concern, some sort of document, something legally binding that you're going to be dealing with fire sign in this upcoming week. Okay, so let's see what we've got going on here with the beautiful Aries. All right, Aries, what have we got? Aries, what have we got? Aries, just for you, Aries, what is going on here? Go ahead and put your energy into the deck, Aries. Let's see what the energy is. Storm warning. So Aries, please be careful if you're traveling. I don't like seeing this. My best friend's in Aries and she's traveling. So she may hit a storm. She may get rained on. You know, it happens. It happens, Aries. So there is that. Um, but as it relates to storm warning, something did not go as planned, uh, Aries. And it feels to me like someone was trying to create a level of confusion regarding messages that were being put out uh, for people to hear, people to see. This could be relating to school because we do have the Page of Wands here. And the thing about it is, Aries, is that I think you're going to be prepared for the worst. Something's coming down, some sort of ruling, some sort of legal, some sort of law, some sort of clear communication that is not going to make you feel good. It is not going to make you feel like, I don't even want to say this, Aries, but there's someone out here that was trying to create that level of confusion and it's backfiring. That's what's happening. But Aries, if you are traveling, please be very careful. Please be very, um, be prepared. If you're out traveling, I don't want anything to happen to you, especially if you're out like hiking or something like that. I mean, make sure you've got everything you need before you do that. Okay, make sure people know where you're at before you go. Like, don't, 
don't go out into the middle of nowhere without letting other people know where you're at. Okay, so just letting you know, air sign. I'm, I'm sorry, Aries. Uh, you, you, some of you Aries out there may have air in your chart as well. So Aries, this is flooding. This is a lot of, uh, this is tornado energy. This is hail. This is flooding. This is uh, things breaking. Like someone wants things to break. Someone wants things to complete. Someone wants things to be completely annihilated so that they can be rebuilt. Because this is a 10 and it breaks down to a 1. So the 10 is the completion, the one is the new beginning. And this is a serious completion. This is like the tower card. So something very faded and unexpected is happening here. Faded and unexpected. Something very significant is gonna be happening on the 10th. And the next 10th we have is September, September 10th. Something significant is happening here. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and pull Aries from the love deck. All right, put your energy into the deck, please. And let's see what we have. Aries. Very interesting, Aries. Aries, I think you're going to go through a forced healing. Or you're going to force somebody to go through a healing phase. Because Chiron Retrograde is in Aries right now. It is a revisit to a place that needs, that needs healing. When we have the Aries card and we have the King of Swords, someone wants war. Aries is the god of war. Communication about war. Communication about warfare. Whoever is causing this negative energy for you, Aries, the way to get out of it is through clear communication. And cutting out what no longer serves you. Because someone in this dynamic area, someone around you, it could be you, but I, I don't like saying that because this is energy that boomerangs back. If it's, if it's been sent out as a negative energy for someone, it's now coming back at you, okay? Or it's coming back at that other person. That negative, really negative energy is like, whoosh, it's just, it's coming right back. So um, if you've been in your integrity Aries, you're certainly going to see others that are going to be getting karma. And I don't like to say that, Aries, but that's the way it's coming out. Okay. All right. Well, this week might be a little bit different for you, Aries. Everybody else had a really, really good reading. And I think overall, Aries, your energy is good. I just think there's going to be something going on here where... You're seeing a destruction around you. Um, someone's trying to destroy something, but it boomerangs. So just be prepared for that and storms, okay? So uh, be prepared for that as well. Forewarned is forearmed, Aries. Okay, so let's see what we've got going on for the beautiful Leos. Leos, what's going on with you? Leos, Lion's Gate, my Lions, my New Moon Leos, what have we got? Put your energy into the deck. All right. Leo, your energy is man holding a coin. So, Leos, someone is bringing you great value because they saw through the confusion. They know how the data is being manipulated. They're delivering this message to you or you could be delivering the message to them and it clears everything up. 
This is a man of value. This is a Capricorn, a Taurus, a Virgo that is highly business-like, okay? It's all about the business. It's all about the money. It's all about the return on investment. And someone is bringing you information regarding that. And I think it's this person right here. This is a 43 breaks down to a seven. So that's the partnership energy. This is all about stable foundations and social media, uh, siblings, neighborhoods, uh, contracts, negotiations, Gemini people, Cancerian people. This is all coming up around this particular uh, message regarding the money and how there was confusion around the money. Okay, and now there's going to be some clear communication relative to the money. Okay, all right, Leo, that's where that's going. So now this could be allocations. This could be um, some sort of net assessment thing coming up here. This could be where the money is handled, purchasing, purchase orders, buying capital, Capital gains, capital, using capital to purchase equipment. Something like that is definitely coming up here. You may have to sign contracts. I'm going to be honest with you, Leos. You may have to sign contracts. Something about travel. Clear information coming through about travel. After a very confusing time, being offered a raise, being offered a promotion being offered a way to get the money back is what I'm hearing. So go ahead and put your energy into the love deck, please. The love card is finances. Leos, your ship came in. At the end of this week, you're getting news regarding travel, regarding um, a new endeavor, regarding foreign people, foreign lands. And it is through some sort of exchange of value, exchange of money, possibly for some of you, or helping out with money or funds or finances, and it affects your finances. So um, if... If some of you Leos have not had a job, you're getting the job. If some of you Leos uh, are on furlough, you're going off furlough. You're going to hear about it at the end of the week. You're definitely going to hear about it. Now, for others of you out there, there is a discussion about finance and maybe needing to cut the budget a little bit, saying, you know, we don't have enough money to do that, so we're not doing that. Now, someone could be saying that to you. You could be saying that to someone else. But I feel this is a lot more positive for what it's worth. This could also be talking about finances with your significant other. You could be saying, hey, my finances are getting stronger. I can start contributing more. Or they could be saying that to you. But that is definitely coming up, Leo. All right. So let's go ahead and let's see what's going on with the beautiful Sages. Sages, what is going on with you? Sages, what's happening? Sages. All right, Sag, what's going on with you? Put your energy into the deck, please. Okay. Your card, Sages, is door to spirit. You're free. Sages are free of the confusion, of the manipulation, the coercion, the machinations. They're free. The message is coming through. The chains that bound you are being broken, Sages, for however that makes sense to you. But that is definitely coming up there. You are free from negative energy. You're getting rid of the negative energy. You're, you're using your spirit energy to achieve what needs to be achieved. And you're opening yourself up 
to the spiritual energy. You're opening yourself up to the freedom that you deserve. You are untethered. This is a 32, breaks down to a five. So there was some conflict associated with this big time. But there's news coming in. This three is that Gemini energy. This Gemini is bringing great news through social media contracts, negotiations, siblings, short distance travel, the neighborhood regarding a partnership, regarding something that has to do with your self-value. Your possessions are now free. You are free. Oh my gosh, Sagittarius, that's beautiful for you. I, lo I love that for you. I love that, Sagittarius. That's gorgeous. Doves may be of significance. A peace dove may be of significance for some of you Sagittarius out there. All right, put your energy into the love deck, please. Okay, Sagittarius. See what we've got. Baggage. Sagittarius, time to go. You're free. You're free to travel. You're free to pack your bags and go. Um, something about pack your bags. It might be pack your bags for vacation or pack your bags, get out. It could also be... Um, I'm hearing that song by Gloria Gaynor. I will survive. That's what I'm hearing, Sag. I will, I will survive. Walk out the door. So what is it? You're not welcome anymore. I've got all my life to live. I've got all my love to give and I will survive. I will survive. Hey, hey. So that's what's coming up here through this card. However, that came up. But um, what I'm hearing, Sag, is not only will you survive, you will persevere. You will be stronger, better, and faster than you ever were before. Sag, is what's going on here? Oh, man. I really want to pull more cards right now, but I'm not going to. You already know what the answer is for you, Sagis. You have information. Timing is everything. And y'all know what I'm putting down. Now, for some of you, Sagis, out there, you might be releasing yourself from a relationship because someone is still hanging on to old baggage and you're kind of done with it. You're kind of sick of it. You want to move on too. So this is something that is happening here as well. Okay. All right, Sagas. I wish you the best. Much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.